that is known as Fibonacci series. As you know, Fibonacci series is nothing but if you try to sum these two digits, whatever we are getting, that is what we are putting next. So any number we are getting based on the sum of previous two numbers. 13, have you received it? 5 plus 18, 13. 8, have you received it? 3 plus 5, 8, we received it. 5 out to received it, 2 plus 3, 5 we received it. Same this series is I want to generate here using our while loop. I want to generate it. This is second scenario in the while loop, second example of the while loop. Let us go and try to do this one. Let us go and try to do this one. So, Pibo series, I want to generate it. What is that? Pibo series using while loop. Using while loop, we want to generate it. Now, before going for this Pibo series, I would like to ask you a few questions. If I written a comma b is equal to 1 comma 2, then what is the value of the a? 1. What is the value of the b? 2. This concept is known as unpacking even or multiple values assignment we can say. Multiple values assignment. In a single line, I can allocate multiple values to the multiple variables. Respective positions will take the respective values. Okay. Even we are aware of it. A comma B is equal to if I write 10 comma 20, which is known as the concept of what is this? Unpack. Here also we are getting an A is equal to 10 and B is equal to 20. We are trying to get it. So in a single line, we can go and again allocate multiple variables. Okay. We got that point that we are going to use in our Pivo series. We are going to use it. We are going to use in our pivot series, we are going to use it. Okay, now first I need to access here a number from the user. So I am trying to provide here, this is the number, what is trying to provide in the runtime. One number I am accepting from the user. Please enter a number, a number for, for pivot series. Up to what number you want it, that you have to enter it. Then I am trying to allocate here two values to the variables a comma b is equal to 0 comma 1. Then I am validating while b is less than n, while b is less than n, then make it as true, enter into the while loop. Whatever right now we have the b that I want to store into the list, I want to store it. For this, even I am trying to create here one empty list I am creating, result is equal to we are creating one empty list. One empty list I am creating here. Then that into that empty list, whatever value is available in the B, that value I am trying to append it. We are good with the list append method. So I am trying to use here append method. We are trying to use here append method and we are passing here b value, we are passing it. Now, once we got the b, I am trying to change here a and b values we are changing. We are passing b value to the a. And we are passing b is equal to a plus b, we are passing. This is the only logic, this is the logic we need to understand. Okay. Then this loop will be continuously running, continuously running till the condition is fails. Let us try to execute it and observe how it is working. For example, I given here 20, then enter. We can notice, we can notice I am trying to provide here RS. What is the values we got it? 1, 1, then 2, 1 plus 1 is what? 2, 1 plus 2 is what? 3, 2 plus 3 is what? 5, 3 plus 5 is what? 8, 5 plus 8 is what? 13. Are you getting my point? Now here, this line will be taking the values from previous lines. Sixth line, sixth line, these two statements, whatever available, allocation will run in parallel mode, it is going to run. In parallel mode, 
it is going to run. What is the meaning of in parallel mode is if the first time it is running, what is the value of the A? 0. What is the value of the B? 1. Now, if you are in order to calculate this A plus B, what you are going to write here? Till here, we can see what is the value of the A till here? Loop 1. Loop 1. We are seeing the value of the A is A is equal to what? 0. What is the value of the B? <coughs> 1. Now, a plus b is equal to 0 plus 1, you are going to take it or as b is already passed to the a, 1, you are going to take it. <coughs> Whatever we have in the sixth line, that only we have to take it. These two will go parallel mode. These two assignments will go in parallel mode. That means, previous to this line, whatever values are available, those values only, it is going to take it. Okay. Now, that's what, that's what the main logic, what you need to follow here. Let us go and try to execute here one more time. For example, I am giving here 200, I am giving. Then, if you execute here RS, I am able to see, sorry, 200. And if I try to execute here RS, whatever we have it, we will able to see up to 200, we are seeing Pivo series elements, we are seeing it. Is it clear? Anyone has any questions or is it clear? Okay. Now, the next one we need to understand is break. So, what do you mean by break? We need to understand. First, try to practice this pivot series. Then, we'll go for the break statement. How to uh, use within the while. We'll try to see it in the coming session.